Yo, what's going on, my Mexicans? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. So for the last few days, weeks, if I'm being completely honest, I've been interested in making a video on people pretending to have disabilities in order to get sympathy, fake disorder, if you will, or anything that will give them some attention because clearly they have no love at home, which is absolutely bonkers to me. Did I just say bonkers? Holy shit, what am I, 85? Anyways, let's just get into this, my dudes. I hate this person so much. This is the person that started all the autism fakers. I hit my bed because I want to hit myself. Just hit yourself then. Like, punch yourself, knock yourself out. Stop breathing, as Playboy Cardi would say. Okay, I know some people are going to say, Sensitive, you're insensitive. How dare you? You don't know autistic people. Um, spoiler alert, I actually do. And I spend days with them. As a matter of fact, I spend weeks with them. They never once acted like this. And you might say, Sensitive, not everyone's the same. And I completely agree with you here. But the fact that this person decided to film this, to set up the camera in the first place, and do this, and uploaded it, and edited it, and added the text and everything, do you think this is someone who legitimately wants to help that community? Nah, nah, nah. This ain't it, bro. This ain't it. Please get a job please get a hobby please game go outside watch a movie do anything else but this my dude this is this is next level pathetic honestly what if she just starts hitting the dog <laughs> what if she just grabs the fucking dog and throws it out the window and says yeah this was the autism ghost possessing me bro Bro, hold up. What are these eyebrows? Why are they so high up? Like, bro, and I'm not one who claim I have the best eyebrows in the game of eyebrows. Absolutely not. It literally feels like she was changing her car oil and her eyebrow or upper eyebrow part thingy was itchy. So she scratched herself and just forgot about it. Am I the only one who thinks this room smells like feed like i can just tell this room smells absolutely horrible i mean we got the dead flowers upside down whoa i am very quirky i am dead inside we you we you so we got that going on oh my god i haven't even watched this video and just by this guy's or girl's looks i could already tell this is a disaster waiting to happen the caption read is this autism and had a bunch of hashtags for autism let's see if this person has autism because i am believe it or not i am a certified doctor from harvard as a matter of fact so i could one billion percent unironically can tell when someone is really autistic or fake shake well before use And yes, I am going to bring gay as an insult for in 2021. Um, I know some people might say sensitive until 1990s, 2000s. Now I'm bringing it back to describe people like this. And as a doctor, I can clearly tell this is fake. And we get it. You're trying to go for the whole quirky thing. I am not like most guys. You ask me to gently shake it. I'm going to go crazy. Now, from this frame, I could tell two things. One of them, this person is desperate for any kind of recognition. This isn't about spreading a good message. This is about look at me, guys. I'm very different. I don't follow the rules. I'm not like most autistic people. You know what? Instead of spending your time like this, why don't you put that time to hitting the gym for like five minutes? You know, this TikTok took like 25 minutes to make. So I'm thinking, why are you making this video instead of hitting the gym? Like this is like the most exercise this person has ever gone in their life. Now, this is another video that I found. I think this went kind of viral, as a matter of fact, showing us 190 plus outers. More specifically, 190 different people this person can turn into. So let's just take a look at all her 190 outers, aka what being fatherless means. Then we have Goldfish, then we have Venom, we have Leo, we have Violet, we have Shaggy. <laughs> Meet my alter Shaggy and Venom. <laughs> Oh my god, this has to be fake. Alright, and before we leave, I just wanted to show this very unique shirt that I found. It's an ADHD shirt <laughs> in the format of um, ACDC, the band, the heavy metal band that's been around forever. And it says, Highway to Hey, Look a Squirrel. This is just insulting. I haven't been diagnosed yet. I haven't gone to the doctor because I don't think I have it, right? I think I'm just um, a little weird, but uh, I have symptoms of what you can consider ADHD. And I do not believe in self-diagnosing at all. I think that is 
is the worst and cringiest thing you can do. Um, I'm bipolar. I have ADHD. I'm this, this, and that. No. And get diagnosed the correct way because there's a lot of people who self-diagnose and are just clearly really, and I mean really retarded. Yo, what's going on, my amigos and amigas? Welcome. Oh my God, there's a squirrel. For some reason, a lot of kids today, man, I sound like a fucking boomer, but for some reason, a lot of people just want to be diagnosed with things like ADHD, OCD, bipolar, like they think this shit's cool. No, it's not. If they were up to the people, they wouldn't have it. Yes, there's cases where you can make the best of the situation and that's fucking dope, but I don't think anyone really wants to suffer from this. Some people cannot leave their house. Some people are suffering forever and it's just so bizarre to me who willingly diagnose themselves then go around and tell everyone hey i have adhd and if they got it done if they got a real test done the doctor will be like nah you're just retarded and you need to go outside i don't think anyone wishes to have adhd or ocd or bipolar or any of these other things because it's not fun and it's not quirky all right guys i'm gonna head out now my eyes hurt you know how surgery be oh my god hey there's a squirrel 